Hi, hello, hello, hi. After a short break, I am back playing more Celeste. I feel pretty committed to just beating it. I think I'm gonna head for the summit of the summit. We're gonna go for the absolute peak. I think we're close. The way this room has like the preview to show all of the remaining three checkpoints, I feel like is like a good sign that this is the, uh, the final challenge. Um, of course, you know, there's like the DLC chapter, there's the B-sides, there's the C-sides, there's all the different types of strawberry that we need to collect, so it's not like we're actually going to be done with this game uh, by any stretch, but it is something special that, uh, that hopefully we're going to see happen here. Whoa! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Was that not just like the startup animation? I guess I have control there. Yeah, I can actually just choose an arbitrary direction. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> to get that strawberry. Yeah, it's like I, I just I don't know, I expect there to be like a transforming animation or something, or something like the bubble, where for a second, I don't know. But yeah, I should just press down as soon as I touch the other. Oh gosh. I, I noticed when I was watching the most recent videos I'd made, there's like a really kind of annoying echo. Uh, where you can hear both the desktop audio being, record being recorded by OBS and then also the speakers. So I think having... I think it was because I like turned down the desktop audio um, and then you could hear the speakers over top of that. But then as I said, I wanted to turn down the desktop audio because you, you couldn't hear me talking as well. Ah. So we're just going to keep fiddling with the three knobs we have access to. I suppose the fourth is how loud I'm speaking, but I don't know. That's just how I am. And maybe by the time we beat this game, we'll have uh, figured out good recording methods. We got to number three. From here, can I challenge the strawberry? I kind of don't think so. Unless... Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, jump. Dash, dash... Jeez, it seems close. Is it faster to do, like, dun, dun? No, it seems about the same. So maybe I could have only gotten that in one direction. Oh, it's so close, though. So this game has, like, Donkey Kong jumping, where once you run off, you can jump a little bit after. So maybe if I get like the max one of those, maybe I can do like, just like that thing? Oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's that thing. Can I use that somehow? How do I do that? That just happens sometimes. It's like dashing down at an angle and also jumping. You know what? I don't know. Let's just move on. I think that strawberry is weird. Unless... Oh -ho -ho! Uh, shoot. Not that hard. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Wait, how did I... It felt easy the first time, this part. Hmm. We're going for the strawberry. Because this could be like one of the final strawberries in the game for all I know. At the same time, it's like... You know, now that I know this game has like boss battles and stuff... Feels like maybe it would end on... Such a sequence. If not a boss battle, then like a... 
kind of more scripted, like, epic, so on and so forth. At the same time, it's like, you know, this is what I thought the whole game would be like. Just pure platforming action. So maybe in the end, it, it does kind of return to that first idealized form. How the heck did I do this before? What was... Did I go under? No, I don't think so. That looks even harder. What the heck? How, how did I do this? <laughs> I, I almost feel like going back and watching the video. Because I genuinely don't understand how I made that jump the first time. Hmm... Oh gosh. <laughs> that time I think it was I just died during the transforming animation. I don't know if there's anything I could have done there. Um, even if I had held straight up. Oh! What the heck? It seems impossible now! I don't... What, what am I doing differently? What am I doing wrong now? Because it, it doesn't even feel like it's close. Oops. <laughs> a, little, <laughs> a little over eager there. I don't know, I'm just doing the same things over and over again. Have I... Have I done double diagonal left? Up? Oh. Should be... Three, maybe? I keep doing the wrong one, though, because I'm getting too close with the first one. And then I panic and do straight up. Travis Scott. Okay. Aha! Aha! <laughs> I didn't notice those uh, falling bricks first. Okay, so now it seemed easy again. What the heck? What am I? What am I doing wrong? That time I think the last time I felt easy, I did straight up and then sideways up. Oh god. <laughs> so we'll try that again. I'm trying to get like super tight with this beginning of the strat. Oh, yeah, okay, that was it. I just got mixed up before. I tried to aim straight for the falling blocks for some reason. Oh! Oh my god! I was doing that before, too. But all this work just to come back here, die the same way. Oh god. Oh god, I never actually landed. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Can't move at all. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's like, in my head, those... I'm doing, like, Vector Edition, and those things should be the same. Up left, and then up. But up, and then up left actually makes such a huge difference. Why? 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 Like, <laughs> I don't know if I understand why, actually. It feels like I'm, I'm just not thinking about it in a, a way that makes it kind of a lot more obvious. Oh, I think I know why. Too bad it doesn't matter, because we're just going to get it on this try! Woo! Okay, now we can finally move on. I think that was our 99th strawberry, am I right? I guess uh, we'll have to find out when we find number 100. Oh gosh, okay, that's a level tight. Alright. 
enemies. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my That's really tight though. How do I even do it? <laughs> From here? From... Oh! I guess I gotta get a little past it first. I can climb up to like, yeah. Or, or, or why don't I just dash off the wall? Yeah, why don't I just dash off the wall? That's easy. Oh, that's probably easy. This didn't react well. Yeah. Final two. Final two. Oh, we return to this super minimalist cliff climbing. Except we have to do it. I like that before they had this like, oops, oh boy. They had this like kind of minimal cliff climbing aesthetic that as I said before, reminds me a lot of like some of the really hard sections in getting over it. And now, oops, oh I see, we can just climb up past that. Now we return to that, but there's definitely like an air of challenge. Before it was just so you could kind of enjoy how powerful you'd gotten at like navigating this sort of simple, this simple geometry. Now it's like not quite as simple. <laughs> I don't know. This this part's probably still not that good. I just gotta focus up a bit. Okay. <laughs> climb, climb. Ah no no no! Oh no no no! I could have survived. Ooh, just by the skin of my hair. Just by that outermost black pixel. Number one. Okay, so there's still more. I guess I should have expected. Ooh, does, am I crazy or does it feel like even more mountain somehow? <gasps> Oh, I think it's because the music subtly elements are disappearing from it. We're we're walking on the moon, so to speak. <laughs> what did I? Uh, I could have made that so much easier on myself. I just I don't know. For some cinematic feeling, I felt like not dashing. This is for some of the first time we've actually kind of gotten to play in fluffy, fluffy snow. Making my hair snow colored. It's like they saved all the like real mountainy mountain aesthetics right for the end. Did I just get impatient? My gosh, Madeline. It's taken us hours and hours and hours to get here. I think we can savor the moment just a little. Looking back out. At that mountain that we conquered. It was so much more of a game than I thought it would be. We did so many different things. We, we moved ourselves in so many different ways. Interacted with things in so many different dimensions. Oh no. Where's where's Madeline? <laughs> we made it to the top of the mountain, but, but, but where's our girl? <laughs> where's our girl, though? Where is our girl though? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, let's do it. We actually did it! 
I can't believe it. I can hardly believe it either. Before I... Hmm. Like, it wasn't like Madeline was conversing with this other part of herself as a separate entity until she came to Mount Celeste. It was the magic of the mountain that brought out Shadowin. And so I think maybe what we're going to learn here is that when we come back down, when we leave the mountain, we're leaving her behind. We're not sorry, not so much leaving her behind. That's exactly wrong, actually. <laughs> We're taking her with us, but she won't be as she is. She won't be a separate person hanging out with us, allowing us to dash twice, throwing us conveniently when all other platforms fail. Uh, she'll just be inside of us, uh, no different than, than any of the other myriad parts that make up our, our personality that uh, kind of carry forward this bizarre bundle of memories and sensory perceptions into some sort of functioning automatonous person. The hell am I talking about? Anyways. Yeah. And Madeline knows. This doesn't come as a surprise. She forgot, probably. <laughs> Caught up in the, the heat of everything. But, uh... She understood. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I, I, I feel like... Oh, oh there's just that camera shift. The way she moves down to join herself. Again, I, I, I press this in, in this kind of like creative analogy. That when you're in the throes of a creative project, when you're climbing the mountain, so to speak, it allows you to externalize and confront parts of yourself uh, much more viscerally, much more meaningfully, much more uh, directly than you would be able to otherwise. Um, it feels like when you're you're writing a character, say, that the part of you that is that character really exists while, it, while they're coming alive in the process of creating the story or whatever. They, they still have this agency almost that you need to um, kind of steer them and, and create them and, and build these things around them. Um, and, and of course, because everything is just coming from you, coming from the things you see, the things you remember, it's like a part of yourself has, has come to life out there um, on the page. And, uh, you know, even in other mediums, like fiction is the easiest one to talk about in this regard, but I feel like in, in drawing and in, in creating music and I don't know, even like cooking or something, um, part of you, you're, you're bringing out into this medium um, uh, such that you're able to dissect it, that you're able to grow it, that you're able to understand how it works and how it can convey your message. Um, and then when the project is done, you kind of put those things back into yourself. Um, and they go down deep again. You know, you're trying to dredge up the deepest, most interesting parts of yourself to put out there. And then they, they once again fade into the recesses of your mind. And uh, I feel like this is a similar thing happening, that while on Mount Celeste, while climbing this mountain, these innermost parts of you that uh, maybe sometimes bother you, that maybe sometimes scare you, um, are, are manifest into something real, something confrontable, something that you can actually talk with. Um, and it's scary to kind of go out of that state, but it's also much saner <laughs> to go out of that state. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, again, asking these really difficult questions about, you know, mental health and art and, and what is being passionate and what is having a manic episode. Uh, what is sacrificing um, things for your work and what is sacrificing things because you have th this sort of sacrificially minded personality? I don't know. It's very hard to talk about um, without kind of feeling like you're slipping into the described state itself. I just assume you know what I mean to some extent. You're part of me before you, you came here. 
<laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking that myself. It seemed it would seem weird for like credits to start playing. Oh. I do like that. Will we see the view that they see? Yeah, I think that's it. Cuz I've seen people post this screen cap to show their times. So I think that's it. It's really beautiful. I like that all the other chapter end cards were still, and this one is animated. Because it's not kind of just that moment in time. It's, it's going outwards and onwards. OK. We did it. We did it. We did it. Now we're going to watch our girls or singular girl, I suppose, descending the mountain. We get to see all the lovely people that worked on this. Nice. <laughs> it's like, okay, I can come back out now. This is really cute. I, I actually really like this idea of the credits having them coming back down the mountain. And just watching Madeline play it, like just watching the game play itself, it's very soothing. It's remarkably soothing to still see the kind of familiar environments, the familiar mechanics, just the way she moves, and yet to have a sense of total peace and assurance. <laughs> like, uh, it's divorced now from. Oh, too mellow, dude! Too mellow. Too mellow is like a, a mashup artist that I used used to listen to quite a bit years and years and years ago. They did awesome uh, hip hop slash video game music mashups. Um, I remember they had an album called Sega Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. It was all like Biggie Biggie Smalls rhymes over top of music from those games. Wow, what? That's crazy. Oh, look, it's getting all cleaned up. Mr. Oshino, he's he's getting, oh, and this is the bird of the old lady. Maybe they can strike up some sort of friendship. Ah, ah, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I saw two Mellow and I was like, yo, that's crazy. I wonder if there's any other names I would recognize in here. Who knows? Whoa, the, the speedrunners got a shout out. That's so cool. And the passers, of course. Here we see them way back at that info station at the foot of the mountain. Not much left. Still so many secrets that we missed. I like these little Polaroids too. <gasps> Production kitties. Yay! <laughs> oh, this is it. This is where we entered. With the big trees in behind. Feels like so long ago, but... I think I started making these videos, like... I guess I can check on the first day I play this. Oh, really lovely. I myself get to leave. I still have double dash. This is where the old lady lives. Ah, and Theo is here too. <laughs> Hell yeah, I did. We did, yeah. Of course, that old bag has been up there like dozens of times, I'm sure. She probably has like 12 dashes by now. Keeps 
rediscovering parts of herself and making peace with them. Yeah, it's a little, it's maybe too bad. We didn't get any pictures up there, but meh. Oh, Mr. Oshino is here, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> ah, so the old lady. She knew all along. RSVP by bird. Positively magical. No, let's have a party. We're gonna have a big party. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my god, that's so silly! That's actually so silly! That's the funniest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> it's like so like classic game core. It's like the just having like this most strenuous connection between you know things kind of purely as gameplay elements. To, to some irrelevant part of the plot or something. I don't know. It's it's just it's the kind of nonsense that I would expect from like a '90s platformer that you you collect something all, along the whole way, and at the game, at the end of the game, without any of this ever being mentioned by anyone, you, you like start feeding them to people or something. I don't know. <laughs> what the heck? Wait. So how many did I get? I think I got 99. Oh my god. That's kind of frustrating. <laughs> I think I got 99 strawberries. <laughs> oh, we were so close. The triple digi strawberry. Alright, well, I just gotta keep playing then. We'll max out this save file eventually. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like hilarious. What would they do if I got zero strawberries? Do you think there would be like a separate line of dialogue or something? Would there be another one if I got them all? <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> uh, aww. The nice thing about baking is that anyone can do it. I honestly think anyone can do it. It's just, you just learn where you need to be precise, what small adjustments you need to make, what sort of things you prefer, because when it comes down to it, the, the person who has to like the baking is you. That's the only person you should be trying to satisfy. So there... I don't know, and, and 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 besides that, it's just like measuring things properly and, and mixing them enough. Like, it's not like cooking. Cooking has much more like technique, I think. Anyways, but yeah, kind of man, we can bake a pie. <laughs> what in the world? I'm just gonna say it tastes like one strawberry short. It tastes like you were missing a strawberry. <laughs> I wonder if this dialogue changes depending on how many strawberries you get. Little things like that I, I think would be super cute. It sounded like he said yabai in the little like uh, animalese. It really sounded like he said yabai, which would have been so appropriate. Aww. Well, that sounds bad, but that's what you want. Ah, oh, we got 99! <laughs> that's so stupid! <laughs> got 99! Ah, oh, I'm mad! <laughs> oh, snap. What's -a going on here? Core. So we beat the game. But there's more. I thought there was more because I remember seeing that my friend's save file was on chapter 9, which I assume was like the DLC. But then where's chapter 8? Aha, we still have chapter 8 to do. And we still have all these other collectibles to look for. Crystal Hearts just one. Like, what, what does this even mean? Okay. Um, what do I feel like doing? What do I feel like doing? Do I feel like challenging the core? What is what does this do? Oh, this just replays the epilogue. So maybe once I get more berries, I can replay the epilogue and see if things are changing. The core. Well, we got to do that at some point. Do I feel like doing it today? I don't know. I kind of feel like 
the end of the game should be the end for now. And then uh, we'll challenge the core, we'll find the secrets, we'll do the DLC chapter at some point. My friend recommended trying to do all the B-sides and C-sides, uh, which if you don't know are unlockable bonus stages for each world. Um, he, they, they suggested doing all of that before I challenged the DLC, so we got our work cut out for us, but we beat the game. Hey, we beat the game. Hey, 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 we beat the game. Oh, it feels so nice to beat the game, to beat the game. I wonder if when we go into this chapter there's going to be like a story. Like, is it going to be explained why Madeline decides to plunge back into the mountain again? Into the very core? Or will this just be pure platforming action? I love how much the camera zooms out when you choose the summit. Mm, this is so good. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. We did it. Took a while, but we did it. Okay. That is all for now. Bye-bye.